I always imagine myself deep in a hole, unable to, to crawl out. And in my running, so many times I've laced up my shoes and I'm ready to go. And I know if I can just get out that door, I'm going to feel better for it. But it's a, it's a door that won't open, even though I can grab it. There's a parallel between suffering in that dark place that I feel when I go into the hole and the darkness and powerless feeling late in a race. But the difference is I, c I control it. I can make that pain stop at any time, but I choose to stay there and I embrace it. Without a doubt, it's a coping mechanism and an important part of my life. But when things don't go right, I'm more likely to find myself struggling. This past year is a good example. You know, I had what should have been a career-ending injury. There's no doubt that pulled me into my darkest period of my entire struggle with depression. And it was a frightening time. It was the most I thought about ending my life. When he's been in some of his deepest places, it's just been some of the most painful moments of my life. It goes to that place of how much more of my life do I get to spend with him? Like, is he getting so bad that he's going to decide not to be here anymore, you know, and, and take his life? You know, all these things kind of go through your head and it's, it's incredibly painful. Reflecting back on the time when, when I still had, held it close to my heart and I, I had no one to speak to about it. When you're not being your true self, I don't think you can ever be the best person you can be. You know, as fortune would have it, I, I met Christina at a race in 2009 and very quickly I felt comfortable enough to, um, for the first time ever, speak openly, express, tell her, reveal, um, that I was very often found myself in a dark place and she understood. I think he's learned how to try and find some different coping mechanisms and some different ways. I mean, I think about this past summer when he had his surgery. Some of the things that he was saying were some of the scariest things I've heard. But I was almost relieved that he was saying them because he was saying them. And I don't know if he would have before. I mean, there, were, there was contemplation of if all this doesn't go well, what's the point of being here? I think just saying it out loud allowed him to work through it. We're both pretty introverted, I think, and we spend long periods of time without talking, even when we're in good places. And so just being there. In the early stages of the relationship, he got in these places and expected me to leave. And I didn't. I've come to recognize the value and almost need to be outside pushing my body and pushing my mind. And now sharing with others I really love that part of being who I am today. And it's also allowed me to feel more comfortable being open and, and, and honest and vulnerable with my struggle with depression. It's allowed other people to reach out and feel more comfortable speaking to others close to them and breaking through the stigma associated with mental illness and depression.